One of the survivors, uh, his last name was Elliot, and in Chester Berry's book, he wrote just a very eloquent and a prose that we don't find right now about what took place, and he wrote very many pages about it. And when he comes to being rescued, he talks about uh, a Confederate officer still in his, wearing his uniform, paddling out um, and picking him up, taking him back to the rooftop of a barn that was sticking up above the water because the river was flooded. Um, and then it talks about when the, uh, the gunboat Essex comes over from Memphis and about how my great-great-grandfather paddled him back from the rooftop over to the boat. And then he talks about he got distracted because he saw somebody else on the boat that he recognized. And when he turned around, you know, my great-great-grandfather was gone. And he writes this account of it and he says, uh, but what happened to Johnny? Where is that noble man of the gray? How he honored the gray. And you read that and you realize that almost 150 years ago, somebody wrote this about your great-great-grandfather. And if that doesn't tug at your heart, I don't know what will.